And with Sandy McLean today, after Lark Sussell's penalty shootout victory over Auchin Oak Lake Talbot in the New Kilgore Coins Automatic West of Scotland Cup, um, it was a, another great win for you, Sandy. Um, it was a, it wasn't a, maybe an easy match in the eye, though. No, it was it was horrible. You know, it was absolutely horrible. The wind totally spoiled the match, but at the end of the day, it was just a case of standing toe to toe and see who would give up first, and neither neither side did. So I think it says a lot for the players. Mm -hmm. um, it's taken us years and years to be Auckland like once, and now we've done it twice in a week and a half. Can we do it a third time? I don't see why not. You know, the, the players are, are used to winning games. Calm. I keep saying that. You know, and and I'm sure you know that. You no, know, anybody that knows anything about football knows if you're in the habit of winning games, um, even when you don't play well, you know that that's the best habit in the world to have. And fair play to the players, you know that's uh, yep two draws we can like we'd have to say, but nevertheless we've managed to knock them out of two cups. But, um, you just said that even if we didn't play well, which suggests you didn't think we played very well today. No, we didn't. We didn't. We we, we tried. We tried desperately. Um, Auckland Light are such a good side. They really, really work. Your two strikers, what you and uh, their, their midfield guys are so strong. Their defenders are so big and tall. So it was a bit of a handful for us today. Of that, there is no question. Um, we have a lot of time for for their manager and what he does. But at the end of the day, it's it's just an absolute delight for us because, as I say, um, for for our club to be to be competing in the same league as Auckland Lake is, is terrific. But for to, to have the ability to go and just say go toe to toe and come out with victors twice, it would just be falling for the, the group of players we have. And what issues were you happy with today? Uh, I was happy enough with the way we, with the way we defended. You know, we've, we've restricted them to to hardly any real chances at, at goal. Um, I was I was pleased with with our strikers. I thought our strikers worked hard today. Um, Graham, come on, and you know Graham's. Graham's uh, done really well in the last couple of games against Auckland, like Big Andy Monaghan's is an absolute handful for people. You know, we uh, won, won battles, I thought we maybe just shaded, which is why perhaps I think we just deserve to win it. Mm -hmm. In terms of uh, the way, like you say, to, to win the penalty shootout as well, to, that's twice run through on the penalty shootout against Tal, but it shows that the, the players do have uh, that bit of bottle, you could say, a bit of nerve to, to get through it. Yeah, it's well, it's well documented that we missed five in, on a spin during, during, during the league campaign, and, and that was a worrying statistic. But you can't do anything about these things. But as you rightly say, you know, that's ten penalties, and we've scored every one of them. So, you know, as, as someone once says, it's a funny old game. Um, in terms of injuries, uh, Martin Dow looked like he had one, and James Marks as well was hobbling a bit today. Yeah, that's, that's a disappointing. That's a, the disappointing thing. James is the way to hospital just for a precautionary. Um, so hopefully he'll be fine. He's, he's been over on his ankle, but as he's been over on it, one of their players landed on it as well. So um, it was even he wasn't running freely. So we felt we had to make that change, and so we did that. Um, we don't want players to get hurt. You know, Martin Dow took a saw another night. He's got he's got um, five stitches in the side of his eye, so he's going to have to take a wee time. Out. Although Martin doesn't want to, he wants to go in and play again. But we need to look after them. Uh, Eddie Walton got a sore one today as well, so you know we need to, we need to watch because the fact that we're winning all these cup ties means that the, the season's going on and on and on for us. And speaking of cup ties, the big cup tie against Lithgow. You watched Lithgow on Wednesday. What can you tell us about Lithgow? Yeah, I'm not telling you a thing about it. Right, okay, but a strong team though. They were they were maroon. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. <laughs> um, in terms of, um, did you learn a lot from the game? Would you say? Um, yeah, I, I think I think I have. Yeah, and we'll have them continually watched as well. We've probably been at our game, so it's just what you do. It's very the miss of you if you think you can turn up and you know just uh, turn it on in the day. We we'll, we we'll have, we'll have a good knowledge of them. The players have a good knowledge of them by the time that game comes, and as I sure they will have a voice. But, um, you know, it's, it's now up to the players to, to continue this and make sure this season, as, as I keep saying, it's, it, it's it's there for them. You know, they can go and, you know, they're still, this is May, Callum, and we're still in every competition. It's quite astonishing. Um, but just looking back to Wednesday night, uh, Largs played Beath, and it was uh, a bit of a roller coaster that one. Again, I was elsewhere, so I, I don't really know. But, um, but by all accounts, you know, that we've given away some soft goals, which is very unlike us. You know, I think that's something that, that that's a blip. You know, um, the players don't usually do that by all accounts. But the response again, you know, that they're at the game at four one and they still manage to get themselves back in it. So you know, they've, they've got a great spirit. Um, in terms of this week coming, and we've got the Rye on Monday night, uh, Auckland again on Wednesday, and then Rob Roy on the following Saturday. Um, it's nice to obviously, like you say, be in all these tournaments, but it's a heck of a lot of games for the players. And you're talking about injuries and this, that, and the next thing. You know, obviously we've got big matches still to come as well. It's uh, it's quite a schedule. 
it is quite a schedule, but that's the price of success, you know. And if they weren't playing games, they'd be training. So, you know, as far as I'm concerned, that uh, you know, as a player, I'd rather play matches than, than turn up and, and train and, and try and keep my interest that way. So, um, and, and as I've mentioned before, we've got the, the, the massive carrot that is the Emirates. Okay, Sandy, that's great. Thanks very much. I'm with Gary Phillips after he scored the clinching penalty and the penalty shootout win over his former team, Auchinleck. Not bad for a birthday present that for yourself, was it, Gary? I can't complain with that. Pretty good, yep. Aye. Um, how, did it, how did it feel when you all went up to the spot? Because obviously the pressure was all on against your former teammates as well. Ah, well, that was it. All the boys were trying to have a laugh. I mean, try to put me off, but no, it's fine. I didn't, didn't feel too bad, actually. Right, so, aye, and obviously we beat them uh, last week with penalties as well, right. so it's pretty confident stepping up, really. Aye, good stuff, good, good stuff. Um, you signed from Auckland back in January. You've not, because of last Christmas Cup success, ironically, and you being cup tied, you've not had much of a chance to actually play for any games, have you? No, I haven't. Uh, I think since I've been here, I've been allowed to play, I think, two or three games. Yeah. So, um, but don't get me wrong, it's great for other boys. You don't get a Scottish Cup final every year, you know what I mean? So. Well, you there, you were talking about last year when you won it though, weren't yeah. you? Yeah, yeah. And, and so, so what, what kind of insight can you give from that for the for the boys going in with you? To be honest, just to enjoy every minute because, like I say, it doesn't come along too often, and when it does, you need to really enjoy it. Uh, just go out and I mean, anything can happen on the day. Uh, so it's just a case of going out and enjoying it as, mu as much as you can. Uh, definitely. Um, and have you enjoyed it since coming to us? What, 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 how would you describe it? Oh, it's been great. I, like I say, all the boys, uh, I've known quite a few of the boys anyway, but they've all made me feel welcome and everything like that. So, no, it's been great. Good. It's been great. And like you say, I mean, you've been able to get a couple of uh, showings now that when you're in the league, of course, as well, because it's got yeah, to play in the cup. Yep. But um, but it's quite a, you know, obviously, you, you, how would you describe yourself as a player? Because obviously you get down the wing, you get the crosses in. Well, that's it. I am. Um, obviously, Sandy's brought me in. Obviously, I do play more in the wing, and it's more about, obviously, trying to get in, get crosses in, everything like that. So that's kind of what I'm there for. Um, and that's that was the idea of going to Auckland Lake as well. Um, so I can just try to do my best, to be honest, <laughs> uh, with, the, with the games that I can play in, just show as much as I can, and hopefully get get in the team for for next year. And you must have had, I mean, you must have a bit of a rice smile when you're thinking, here we go, the penalty to knock out Auckland Lake. You, you wouldn't have maybe envisaged that situation before. No, I didn't. No, uh, I didn't. I didn't uh, think that was going to happen. But no, once I once I did is. Once um, Big Big Sean missed uh, his penalty, I knew I was fifth. I thought I would go right away, and uh, it, was, it was a great feeling. I must admit, it was, it was really good. Uh, okay, then that's great. Thanks very much. Okay, uh, cheers, cheers, guys. Okay.